project is about a night's life. I decided to do this project because my mom and I have been reading about nights and I found them very interesting. I like learning how they grow up. When you were a boy at age seven, you were a page who learns to be a gentleman. For example, opening the doors for ladies. If I lived in that time, I would have loved to have a page because he'd do all the chores and do everything for me. Uh, and then, when you were 12, you became a squire, who helps knights dress for battle, learns to use the land, and practices riding horses, and even trains to fight, fight using small blunt swords and little shields. When you got 20, when you turned 21 years old, you were dubbed as a knight, which means you were tapped lightly on the shoulder with a sword. But before you got dubbed as a knight, you would have a whole evening, no eating or drinking, of prayer. After that all-night prayer, you would take a bath in preparation for a ceremony of becoming a knight. With the squire's help, you would dress into your armor. The armor included a quilted vest and cap, protecting you from bows and arrows, a heavy chainmail vest, a, bra a breastplate, metal arm and shin guards, a linen tunic to keep your um, chain mail from getting rusty in the rain, and a helmet, which is basically like a bucket on your head, except it has holes for seeing and breathing. On your coat of, on your tunic, shield, and shoulder guards, there is this symbol called a coat of arms. A coat of arms is a special symbol every knight wears. It tells what, who they are and what their name means. Sometimes the coat of arms could include animals such as birds, horses, or lions, while others had objects such as trees, flowers, or like crosses. Um, and then after you got dressed in your armor, you would go to the Baron. The Baron is the ruler of the castle. He isn't the king, he serves the king. He would dub you as a knight, which means that he would get a sword and tap you lightly on the shoulder with it. After that, you got dubbed as a knight, so your squire can put on your spurs. Your squire would put on your spurs and then you have become officially a knight. The, the man who first had knights was a man named Charlemagne. He was the king of the Franks and had the first knights for him fight for him in the Middle Ages 700s. Also, sometimes knights would have a tournament. A tournament is basically, it included jousts, which were mock battles. Mock battles are battles where you're not trying to kill your opponent, you're just having a fun game. When Trumper, then the Trumpers play a fanfare, it tells knights that their contest has begun. Points can be scored when you strike your opponent on their helmet with a lance. When the knights first use lances when they are on horses, but when their lances are broken, they dismount from their horses and continue the contest with swords. When one knight gets knocked down flat on his back on the ground, he has lost and is at the other knight's mercy, which means the other knight can hold him prisoner if he wants to. Now there are no knights, because at the end of the Middle Ages, Knights were no longer important in armies. Countries had formed their own armies. Soldiers were replaced, were trained to replace knights. There's a change in warfare, such as the use of longbows and guns. And that made the heavy armor the knights wore useless. Now it is time for the quiz. How old were you as a page? Seven. Yep. What does dubbed as a knight mean? Tapped lightly on the shoulder with a sword. Mm -hmm. On a coat of arms, what are some objects that is on it? It could be birds, crosses, mm -hmm. about the knight's name. Mm -hmm. What is a mock battle? It's a pretend battle between two people not killing each other. What is the type of armor that I want to become knights with the squire's help in preparation for becoming a knight? Where? Breastplate, helmet, mm -hmm. uh, shin guard. Thank you for paying attention.